How's it going everybody? This is Mark with AtTech and in this video I want to um, give you guys a tutorial on how you can add a site icon to your website that will be supported on iOS. So if we open up our iOS simulator right here, um, you can see what a site icon is. It's just an icon that shows up on bookmarks and tabs. So we got Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Apple. So as you can see, each of these has an icon, but you do have to code that in. It will not automatically pick up on any sort of favicon reference that you may have in the head of your HTML code. It has to be specific sizes in code just for iOS devices. The same goes for Safari on Mac. It uses the same thing. So if you don't have any sort of Apple Touch icon reference, it's not gonna work on Safari on either iOS or Mac. An example of what that looks like is right here. As you can see, this website does not have that reference. So it's just gonna show the first letter of the website. Okay, so let's go over how you can do it. So we're gonna need four different sizes for our um, app icons. So we're going to need um, our original, which is our favicon. Um, you are supposed to have it kind of small, but I like a really high resolution. And this is what I use as my reference for the favicon on every um, website, the tab. So if we hop over here, you can see I do have my little favicon right there on the website. So that is what I'm gonna base this off of. So we're gonna to need to make four copies and we're gonna to need to resize those 257 by 57, 72, 114, and 144. So make sure those are the right size because it will go work based on what device um, it's actually being used on. And you should name them um, the same way that you, I, you see them named right here, apple-icon-and dash dash, then the size. Um, it's not entirely necessary to do it that way, but it is um, pretty good for reference later on so you know what's what. Um, so now that we have those icons made, let's go ahead and add that to our code. So up in the head with all the links, you can see I have indeed linked the um, favicon right there just as a shortcut icon and then the href. And then below that, we will just need to link our Apple Touch icons. So we'll make a new link and we will say they're apple-touch-icons. And that's gonna be the same for all of them. And then we're gonna add a new um, declaration for sizes. And then we will input the size that that actually is. And then we will just reference that right there. So you can see right there we got 72, 114, and 144. So that's pretty much it. Now that we've added those, all we have to do we just go ahead and reload the page. And now our icon shows up right there and um, it looks pretty good and it works without any issues. It is a little bit strange. Apple requires their very own icons. They just can't take from the favicon, but it is nice because they want them high quality and high resolution. Um, it's a little strange how they do it, but there you go. That is all you really need to do. Uh, pretty simple and easy. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I'll see you in the next one.